Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another indie fragrance review, or should I say affordable indie fragrance review. And today I'm reviewing something that I initially thought I would like, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. And it's going to be from the House of Authenticity Perfumes, and it's Barbershop. As you can tell, this liquid is very blue. And just so you guys know, they actually do come in boxes now. Um, let me actually show you one. So I actually don't care about boxes, but I know a lot of you guys do. So it does come in a box now, and it's displayed right here, which I think is pretty nice. Nice snug fit. Um, little information on the house on the back here, and the website on the side. So that's for anyone who wanted to take a look at that. Let's talk about the actual fragrance. I'm gonna read off the notes and kind of tell you the vibe you're gonna get from it, just to be a little bit more, you know, basic for the basic noses out there. But you got a top of bergamot, lemon, mid of basil, fir, and oak moss, and then a base of patchouli, cedarwood, and musk. Now, when I smell this, I get the lemon, I get the basil, and I get the bergamot. I think at the beginning, that's what you're gonna get the most of. And then I feel like I'm gonna get more of the woodiness as this dries down, you're gonna get the oak moss, you're gonna get the fur, but this is actually a really well blended fragrance. So what you get is a really clean kind of, I mean, barbershoppy, shaving creamy vibe, which actually the irony of that is I was looking for a shaving cream fragrance. Why? Some days I just wanna smell clean because where I live in California, it gets so hot some days that you just want to smell ultra clean and that's the vibe I get with this which for me really works because that's what I want um, and I will say this also I shy away a lot of times from wearing barbershop fragrances again I'll wear anything that I like however sometimes I don't feel like they go with my aesthetic but in my opinion I feel like I was able to pull this off quite well it is a barbershop fragrance but the way that it smells and how refreshing it smells and how I feel like it goes really well with a certain really clean uh, kind of, again, white t-shirt vibe and high heat, I feel like I've been able to pull it off pretty well. So again, super clean shaving cream vibe. And again, you're gonna get a little bit of that herbal feel from the basil in here. Uh, I think that's kind of standard for this type of fragrance, but it's very clean, it's very refreshing. Uh, so if you were looking for an ultra clean summertime fragrance to me, this works really, really well, and it kind of filled a void because I was genuinely on the search for that. And for the price that this goes for, which we'll talk about at the end, I don't think you're gonna beat it. But also, let's talk about performance because I really wanna touch on that for a good minute. I spray heavy, I spray everything heavy. You guys already know his fragrances are 50% oil concentration. So I didn't go ultra heavy, but I think I went like 12 sprays. And then I got in the car with a friend to go to brunch and 12 sprays was too much for this. It smelled good when we were at brunch because we were outdoors, but in the car, 12 sprays was a lot. So with this, I would go maybe five to seven sprays, be a little bit more conservative. Or if you're going outside, I think 12 is okay. It's just not necessary. So I just want to say that because the oil concentration in this is not a joke, 50%. It's pretty thick. So just control your sprays. It smells really good. You won't realize how strong it is. Other people will. But I'm actually going to move on to compliments because I kind of want to add to that. It does smell really good and I did get a lot of compliments with it because it's a really clean fragrance. It's very hard not to get compliments with a clean, refreshing fragrance that does have some sweetness to it. So I think if anything, the citruses do sweeten it, but also the patchouli, if you're gonna pick it up, it's really just gonna sweeten this a little bit. It's a really nice smelling fragrance, guys, honestly. And if you're like me, like I kinda like the fact that the liquid looks so nice. Like it's so blue and refreshing in there. I don't know, I love it. I feel like it really kinda tells you what kind of fragrance you're going for. And also I love the fact that it is a dumb reach fragrance. So let's actually talk about that. When can you wear this? This is a dumb reach fragrance. You can wear this anytime. This is one of those fragrances that you could dress up or down, daytime or nighttime, which I do like about that because, I mean, if you guys don't already know this, I'm a huge fan of fragrances that I can just 
pull off the shelf and just wear whenever I feel like it without having to think too much. Who can wear this? This is not going to be like an ultra sweet fragrance. I do think it has sweetness to it. But if you're someone who's younger and looking for an ultra sweet fragrance, this isn't it. I will say this does lean masculine. It is a barbershop fragrance. However, because of the sweetness in here, if you are a female who does kind of like that clean shaving cream scent, this is going to be something easier for you to pull off than a lot of other barbershop fragrances. Uh, for me, I have a couple of other, you know, fougeres and things like that. They're harder for me to pull off because of the sweetness and the citruses in here. I feel like I've been able to pull it off really well and it goes really well with my skin chemistry. So I think anyone can wear this. I don't think anyone super young is going to like this because it's not like a real like bubble gummy fragrance. The sweetness in here is subtle and it kind of just blends in with the citruses and you know, the, the herbs and the oak moss things like that. The way it blends makes it a, a subtle sweetness in a way that I like because I don't like things ultra sweet, but I do like a little bit of sweetness in my fragrances. Seasons. This is a dumb reach fragrance. You can wear this year round, but the seasons that I feel like I would personally pull for it most are spring and summer. I like this in the heat. That's when I've been reaching for it so far. It works really well. So for me, I would primarily use it in spring and summer, but I think on those days where you do want to feel clean in the fall and winter, easy reach right here. This is still on sale for, I believe, $36.99, and I believe the 10% coupon is still available. If it is, I will link it down below. Definitely pick this up if you've been thinking about it. I don't know. I've been able to get some really good compliments with it. I mean, I feel like it goes really well with my skin chemistry, but... Again, I think it's a really popular one. In fact, I think it might be the most popular one from the house, and I'm gonna say that I think it's for a reason. I didn't think that this would be something that I like as much as I do, again, because barbershop fragrances, but I feel like the fact that it's a little bit sweetened and something that I feel like I actually pull off really well, this has kind of gone up my list in the Authenticity Perfume uh, ranking, and I think as of right now, I have all of them, so I will eventually re-rank them again. Um, actually, I should probably wait because I'm sure he'll come up with something new soon, but I will eventually do the re-ranking and just know I really like this. This one definitely gets a love in my book. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you've already tried this, go ahead and drop your experience down below. I'm not gonna, I, or I shouldn't reiterate it every video, but just in case you guys missed the last several hundred videos. People read the comment section and it's kind of nice to get a dialogue going between you guys so you know, you know, what experiences other people have with, you know, how long this lasts on them, skin chemistry wise, things like that. Also, I don't think I really went too far into longevity. It's going to at least get you, you know, 12 hours, but the projection is very big for the first three to four. It's not a joke. You're not going to smell it as heavy on you, but everyone else will. So again... Don't be too trigger happy. That was with 12 sprays. With less, I'm guessing at least several hours of heavy projection. And the sillage just keeps going. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to this channel, you know, because why not? Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!